Let us say Psalms 18 verse 2 together. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Hey, you're here. It's good to see you. Got some questions for you and I want the young ones to gather around. The first questions we'll ask will be for our, our littler children, our younger ones. And then I've got some that would work well for our older students also. So let me give you the first question. And I'm, I'm gonna ask you this question and give you a couple seconds to answer. We'll see if you got the right answer. Let's start back at the beginning. Who was the first man and woman? Did you say Adam and Eve? You got it. Adam and Eve was the first man and woman made by God. I got another question. Are you ready for it? Who was the oldest man to ever live? Think about it. Who was the oldest man to ever live? Did you say Methuselah? Good job. You know your Bible facts, don't you? Did you like how I changed positions? So, here's another one for our young people. Who built the ark? Think about it. Did you say Noah? Great job. That's right, Noah built the ark. Now, here's another question for you. How many sons did Noah have? How many sons did Noah have? Did you say three? You know your Bible facts. That is exactly right. Noah had three sons. Now let's make it a little bit harder. Can you name those three sons? Think about it for a moment. All right, who were they? Did you say Shem, Ham, and Japheth? Hey, you're doing a great job. You know your Bible facts, don't you? Now, I'll give another one for the young people, and then I'll ask one that's a little harder for the older kids. All right, here's the first one. How long did it rain upon the earth during the flood? Did you say 40 days? That's right. It rained on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. But now, here's a harder question. There was a man by the name of Abraham. Abraham had a father. Who knows the name of Abraham's father? Think about it for a moment. Did you say Terah? If you did, that's right. Abraham's father's name was Terah. Man, you're doing great. You're doing a great job. While we're talking about Abraham, let's ask two more questions. First, who was Abraham married to? His wife's name was Sarah. That's right. Abraham's wife's name was Sarah. Now, the Bible also tells us about another relative of Abraham, his nephew, who traveled with him. What was his name? That's what I thought you said. It was Lot. You got the question right. Lot traveled with Abraham. Let's ask a couple more questions from the book of Genesis. Genesis tells us about a lady by the name of Hagar. Who did Hagar work for? Did you say Sarah? That's right. Do you remember what she did? She was called a handmaiden. So Hagar was Sarah's handmaiden. Now a little bit later, Hagar has a son. Do you remember the name of the son? Like I said, this is kind of harder. But what was the name of Hagar's son? I think I heard someone say it. It's Ishmael. It's exactly right, Ishmael. And let's ask one more question. Sarah, we mentioned her a while ago. Remember when Sarah overheard God telling Abraham that he would have a son the next year? What did Sarah do? Do you remember? That's right. Sarah laughed when she heard. And God said, 
you laughed. And Sarah said, oh, no, I did not laugh. And God said, I heard you laugh. Okay. Let's consider some more questions from the book of Genesis. So after Sarah died, Abraham married someone else. Again, this is a harder question. Do you remember who he married? Did you say Keturah? That's right. That was the name of Abraham's second wife. Now consider this question. Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. Which one was older, Jacob or Esau? Who was older? Who was born first? That's right, Esau. Esau was the firstborn by a few minutes, but he was the firstborn. Let's come back to our little children for just a moment. I've got another question for you to kind of, kind of see how much you know about the Bible. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? Think about it. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? Did you say 10? I know you did. That, that's right. God sent 10 plagues on the nation of Egypt. And Another question for you, and I know you know the answer to this one. What sea did God part for Moses and Israel? God parted the, that's right. He parted the Red Sea for Moses and Israel to cross over as they were fleeing the land of Egypt. Boy, you're doing so wonderful. I wish you were here with me right now outside. It's such a beautiful day, and you're doing a really fine job. We're almost done. We're almost done. But I've got a few more questions. I really need to see if you know these questions. What river did God stop for Joshua and the Israelites? Think about it for a moment. When Joshua and the Israelites had to cross through the water, what river did God stop? You got it. The Jordan River. God stopped the Jordan River so Joshua and the Israelites could cross over and go into the land of Canaan. You did a great job. Keep up the Bible study. Keep up with your Bible facts. Thank you.